Flash flooding is rapid, short-term flooding. Uh, typically happens along small creeks, streams, but it can also happen in urban streets, at low water crossings in some cases. It's even occurred in underground parking garages. Flash flooding sources include things like uh, torrential rainfall, uh, or it could be a levee or a dam failure. Flash flooding is so dangerous for a number of reasons. It can catch people unaware because the source of the flash flood may not be local. Um, it may be something like a thunderstorm that's occurring at a distance that you may not even be aware of. Flash floods can also occur in a matter of minutes, even seconds in some cases. One of the reasons flash flooding is so dangerous is because people underestimate the power of moving water. It can carry away an automobile. So it can also contain things like large debris, boulders, uh, pieces of structures, trees. Those things inside the moving water are, increase the danger to people who may be caught in a flash flood. Some of the most important precautions should be done before an actual flash flood occurs. We recommend that people know their communities, know the areas where there are creeks, streams, low water crossings, places that are very likely to be affected by flash floods. We also recommend that people keep track of the watches and warnings that may be in effect in an area, especially when there's thunderstorm activity. During uh, activities such as camping or hiking or any activity, fishing, any activity alongside creeks, streams, or waterways, it's especially important to be aware of weather forecasts and also what's going on specifically in your location. If a warning is issued or if you observe signs of flash flooding where you're at, you should immediately move to higher ground. In any flood situation, what we recommend is very simple, really. Turn around, don't drown. We want people to avoid driving through flood water or even walking in or near flood water. More than 50% of flood-related fatalities uh, involve those two specific activities, walking near flood water, walking through it, or attempting to drive through it. For more information about flash flooding, flooding, or flood safety, please feel free to call our office or visit our website.